hello everyone welcome back to my channel uh, so i'll give you a little tour of my garden to show you what's going on so far um it's the 26th of um, june 2023 and all my vegetable plants have started growing really really well i'll just give you a little tour to show you what's going on so here we have the sweet pumpkin plant growing this is going to take up all this space here it's just started growing it's looking really really healthy and if you look closely you can see the pumpkin is growing there we are look yeah so you've got lots of pumpkins coming and growing there hopefully this year should have a good harvest and then here we have coriander we've already had quite a bit of coriander and this is really easy to grow if you want to see how to grow coriander in your garden or in a bucket watch my video on how to grow coriander fresh coriander smells beautiful really nice in your curries or salads got coriander growing all over here so here we have lye, it's known as the Chinese spinach and you use the leaves and you can use them in salads, you can use them in curries as well. I've got bottle gourd plants growing here, this is the trellis for it, it's going to go right up and hang down from here. So if you have a look, let's have a look at what's going on if there's any growing okay so oh here we are so you can see these are the bottle gourds so they've started growing there's a couple growing the, the, the plants are still very young and they'll continue growing all the way into September so these are what you call bottle gourd plants the leaves are looking exceptionally healthy mashallah okay so what you've got to do with these is you've got to just take the bit tip off the top and then it starts sprouting other branches starts looking like this from one plant we've got tomato plants here let's have a look so you've got tomato flowers tomato plants these are beef tomatoes okay you can see lots of flowers growing these are all turned into tomatoes these are radish plants let's have a look, closer look yeah you can see there the radishes are growing so these are looking good we've got a couple of carrot plants over here and we've got some bean plants here we, these are known as runner beans these are french runner beans they're called lubi uri Really nice in curries as well. Let's have a look. So these purple flowers, they'll turn into beans, and they they're the sort of long type of beans. So they're not your normal runner beans. They they they're nice and thin and long, very tasty. These are doogie plants. So you basically cook the stem. You eat the stem, not the leaves. These are really nice as well. So you've got lots of doogie growing here. We've got aubergine plants here. Started growing, they've started flowering. These have been grown in individual pots. If you come close, close up here, these are lal sag. I'll show you some more over here. 
red sog really nice really healthy full of vitamins and minerals exceptionally healthy for your diet and really tasty as well some more aubergine plants over here these are all aubergine plants and what i've done is i've planted some flower flowers here this is marigold another marigold there this is what this is what will attract bees and pollinators and help the vegetables to grow let's come over here we have more tomato plants over here and along here lots of marigold flowers i've got a banana plant which has just sprouted over here what happened last year this was the banana plant and last year due to the frost and the extreme cold weather he actually died well we thought he died and lo and behold we have a banana plant growing again so hopefully this year we won't make the same mistake uh, we thought it would survive the cold and the frost but it didn't it was extremely cold it went to minus seven i believe and it killed it off so this year i'm hoping to insulate the banana plant well so it doesn't die okay so these are sunflower plants again to attract the bees and pollinators into the garden we've got salads here so this is lettuce we've got a couple of onion plants these are from last year you can see the onions growing this this plant here is known as the dunya it's the bangladeshi coriander leaf really really nice in flavor looks very different from your average coriander leaf this is traditionally grown in bangladesh and used as coriander in bangladesh we've got so here we have the foy the foy sag which is chinese leaf spinach really tasty really really exceptional extremely healthy very very tasty in salads as well as in stews curries casseroles this is an aubergine plant we've got different types of aubergine plants growing this year so i've got uh, the turkish aubergine plant i've got several different ones so once they start growing i will make another video to show you what the aubergines look like so here we have the bitter gourd plant which is known as karela doing well a couple of uh, weeks ago we thought this was not going to survive it looked as if it was withering but it's doing really well now and it's uh, thriving in this weather hopefully we'll get some bitter gourds this year okay so this is a different type of uh, plant where you use the leaves um, in cooking it's called rosat it's traditionally used in Bangladesh yeah it's really nice this is very hard to grow this it kind of looks like um, like dead leaves and stuff. It does. Well, it did look dead, but it's uh, grown back again, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. It's doing really well now. Here we have more it's bean nice plants. Nice. These are Bangladeshi beans. And look, we've got beans coming up here. Let's have a look. There's purple flowers and some beans. Okay, let's have a look. Where are the beans? Let's look the here. Let's have a look. Move. Oh yeah, look. You can see the beans growing. These are called uri, Bangladeshi uri. Very nice, very tasty. Um, They're really ex uh, expensive as well in the shops. Mm -hmm. So I so, thought, you know, why not grow our own? And I've, I've grown these so in these. To yeah, and it's, it's we learn as we grow, and then we grow our, our own, and we make our own food, which is a lot healthier than buying stuff from the shops, isn't it? And we're growing these in tires so we're recycling these tires and it's also a really good method for growing plants in keeps them protected and stays stays really in good condition for years to come we've got more coriander 
Bangladeshi Dania aubergines, more aubergines here. Aubergines. So this is uh, the Bangladeshi aubergine. So once the aubergines start growing, I will show you and make a different video to show you what they look like. So some of them are circular, some of them are long. They're all different shapes, depending on what sort of aubergines they are. And they're, they're of different color as well. So not all of them are purple. And this one's purple, that one's Yeah, white. this is a different color. I think this might be an orange type of a color or a red color. Okay, let's go over here. Yeah. Okay. So we've got some chili plants here. Chili. Yeah, these are chili plants. See, this is looking really healthy. That's a that looks like a pepper plant, mm -hmm. doesn't it? You've got uh, another aubergine here. Oh, look at this! This is this is a chili plant. Look. It's got some flowers. Yeah, that means the chilies are going to come very soon. The, black chili. So these are black chilies. Krishna Morris. Okay. More chili plants. And pepper plants here. This is another chili plant. Look, white flowers this time. Oh, white. Look at that. Yeah. Looks good, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. We've got chili plants growing here. Chilies. Okay, shall we move over to this side? Mm -hmm. Courgettes. We've got some courgette plants here inside these tires. They do really well. They, they did really well last year. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it goes this year. There's lots of flies here because what we tend to do is we, we've got lots of vegetable and fruit scraps buried under the compost here, which is really good. For the plants we just pop into my greenhouse to have a look at what's going in here so what i've got here is several maga plants um i had a really bad experience with the maga plants earlier on this year where i had um at least 10 to 12 maga plants die as soon as they grew so i had to go and purchase more seeds because I didn't have enough enough of these seeds left from last year. So I went and purchased some from somebody else that I know. And this time around, the naga plants are looking a lot healthier. I tend to keep the naga plants in the greenhouse with the doors and the windows open just to protect them from any bad weather or wind. And over here, I have some sweet potato plants growing. So, very easy to grow. Watch my video on how to grow sweet potato plants. You can see this this one's, these all, all four of them have germinated really well. You can see the roots in there growing really well. These are gonna go into the ground very soon. The shoots have started to grow. Looking very positive. So the potato plants will be growing, going into the ground very soon and the naga plants are doing really, really well in here. We've had some cracking weather in the UK, 25 degrees plus every single day. I still haven't risked taking my naga plants outside. I think it's nice and warm in here and also airy. Plenty of fresh air getting in, keep the doors open 24-7. Inshallah, they'll be doing really well this year. These nagas um, uh, are a type of chili, for those of you who don't know, extremely hot, one of the hottest chilies in the world. Full of flavor, really nice in curries. You can make, make them into pickles, chutneys. I hope you enjoyed the tour and I'll keep you updated and show you the videos of individual plants and vegetables as they grow through the summer. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos so that you are updated with new videos as soon as I upload them. Take care, see you soon.